Peachy Babies! You guys loved my last video and you left some really interesting suggestions on what I should mix with slime. So this week, we're gonna be testing out some of your comments. Have you guys ever messed with Orbeez? I love Orbeez, but I've never mixed it into slime before. I have about 1,000 Orbeez in this bin and I'm gonna be adding some clear slime to it. My prediction, only some will stick because they are super watery, so yeah. Let's see what happens. They look like gemstones and they feel like super rubbery. Whoa. I'm gonna start mixing them in and kind of go in from the middle. It's so pretty. It looks like one giant, beautiful mermaid crystal. It's 1,000 Orbeez versus one blob of slime. I wonder what it would be like to take a bath in Orbeez. I already took a bath in slime before and it was disgusting. It's my slime foot. How many likes for you to take a bath in Orbeez? 3,000 likes. What I like is that as the Orbeez are sticking to the clear slime, it's making for some really good ASMR. Whispers. I don't know guys, I think I just might have made the biggest Orbeez slime to ever exist. So my prediction was half right. It's not entirely full of Orbeez, but they do stick to slime. I think this is a success. And you know what? I think we just made a new slime. This is the Peachy Babies Orbeez slime. Would you buy it? Somebody suggested I mix makeup into slime. Let's try this bright pink. I'm gonna make some swatches. Okay, okay. They're not that pigmented, but I think it'll do the trick. Ooh, we have some metallics too. Look at that. I've got a really pretty palette. I'm gonna make a warm toned slime. So I have my little blob of slime right here and my little scraper and we're just gonna ruin this palette. Let's go for it. Pink goes down first. This literally looks like pigment. If someone were to tell me like this is slime pigment, I would believe it. Now we're gonna do some orange. I really like this one right here. And now I wanna do some bright yellow. So I think this one and maybe some of this metallic one. There goes the yellow. Oh, I forgot we have another palette. I'm not sure, okay, but I think that these palettes were ordered for Aaron. <laughs> Actually, I think they were supposed to be for Andrea. Are you serious? This is now our warm tone makeup slime. Ooh, it's like a sunset pink vibe. Wow, I love that I added the metallic yellow because it's creating some metallic streaks all throughout. Your suggestion was really good. Makeup actually works as pigment for slime. So if you ever don't have any pigment, but you have some slime with you, all you need is makeup and it works perfectly. All right, let's do another one, but this time we're gonna be playing with the cool tones in the palette. All of the blues, the silver. It's gonna make for some really beautiful streaks like the last one. So let's get some of that green in there. We also need some green. Some purple, you know, we're going for the cool tones. Oh, I can't forget about the other palette. Let's add all of these greens and blues. Look at the way the purple mixes with green and then we have some metallics, like a yellowy green in there, some turquoise, it's beautiful. It's actually looking much darker than I thought it would, but I'm really glad I added like the silver because you can see the silver streaks through the slime and it looks really pretty. Guys, look how vibrant and cool these slimes are. We have our cool toned and our warm toned. And I gotta say, makeup and slime works. Let's move on to our next challenge. You guys suggested I mix kinetic sand with slime? Okay, love kinetic sand. As a kid, this was a good time. So I got some blue kinetic sand and I'm gonna be adding it to clear slime. All right, let's just mix it all together. Ooh. I wish you guys could feel this right now. It feels so interesting. It's like cloud dough, but with a rough texture. It also pigments the slime very well. It's like a really bright ocean blue. This is like sandy slime. That's exactly what it feels like. Guys, I think this was also a success. We have our very own kinetic slime. Now we're gonna test out Play-Doh. We got lots of Play-Doh colors. So I have this clear blob of slime and I'm gonna be adding a little tiny ball of Play-Doh with every single color of the rainbow around it. 
I loved making like little sculptures with Play-Doh. I used to eat it. My mom would get really mad. This one right here is my favorite color. It's like a turquoise. I love greens and blues. All right, guys, there we have it. It's our Play-Doh color wheel. Now let's mix it all together and see what texture we get. Guys, look at how all the Play-Doh is mixed in the middle of the slime. And now let's do a little stretch. Right now it's looking really pretty. I love how you can see like all the colors around it, but I will say it's getting a bit sticky. Yeah guys, this is getting really sticky. It does look pretty though, but as you can see, Play-Doh probably has like some chemical that makes slime very sticky. It basically turns it into glue. This is literally glue. Yeah guys, Play-Doh with slime, it's not it. All right, so now I'm gonna get some fellow slimers over here and see which texture they like best. I think that the Orbeez is going to win. It's my favorite, it looks awesome, and it feels really weird. All right, Christian, I have four new slime textures that I invented today. We have kinetic slime, RB slime, makeup pigment slime, and Play-Doh slime. Mm, I hate this. I mean, I like the color, but like, I just hate that. Like when you stretch it out, like right now, it just feels like, imagine like little tiny sands going across your nails. It's like an exfoliator. I, I don't need to be exfoliated. Now you get to test out okay. my Orbeez. The Orbeez are falling out. It's part of it. It makes it fun, you know? 50 just came out. That is ridiculous. No, no There's like you. a thousand in there. I thought that was the worst one. This is worse than that. What? You're crazy. Look at you just shook it and 50 came out. It's part of the experience. You don't understand. Whatever, let's move on. This is the makeup. I don't mind the color. I think so far, because it's just a color, it just feels like normal slime, but like, I don't mind that. Can I see that it one? It's like gasoline. Gasoline? This looks intentional. The fact that it's not coming off on my skin is like huge. Well, you're in for a treat, Christian. I think you really like the makeup slime, but now I have something even cooler. Play-Doh slime. So I want you to do like one little ball and put it in the middle. Just a little ball. Yeah, it matches your sweater. It does. It looks really pretty that it's getting mixed in, but I know from experience that this deactivates the slime. I don't know, you have to keep mixing it. No, you're just trolling me. I just don't like that it's sticky. I'd rather have that one, that's cool. <sighs> So pick your favorite. Out of these four terrible slimes, I would go with the makeup one. They're all terrible? Yeah. All right, we have Jack here. I love kinetic sand, but I've never tried kinetic slime before. Ooh, I like the texture actually. It's kind of like that sandpaper vibe. Yeah, it's like a snow fizz, but like also a jelly at the same time. It I love good this ASMR, one. good ASMR, Yeah, right? it's really good. This one's a treat. I'm excited because I never got to play with Orbeez before. What? Well, oh, you've never played with Orbeez at no. all? No. Uh -uh. <gasps> Put your hands in some Orbeez, no come on. Way. She's yes. never played with Orbeez before. Oh. My God, this is crazy. What the heck? I love this actually. Okay, I don't like how they all pop out. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's I've a been little told. chaotic. <laughs> I think I like the clear slime, but I'm not about the Orbeez. Ah, uh, that's fair. Well, it's kind of purple. I like the texture. I like this one. The color's not my favorite. The purple and the light's pretty, but I guess if you're into silver, but I'm a gold gal. I think I'm more of an orange gal. That one suits you more. Yeah, and I like the gold shimmers in there. Okay, cool. Okay, this color play is actually pretty. Roll it up. Ooh, that's, okay, that's fun. Ooh, I like this clear slime. Even though it ripped, it's nice and thick. Ooh. Oh, this is so fun and satisfying. Is it starting to melt? No! Oh, I'd say give it a few more, just give it a few more stretches. Okay, okay, It'll, okay. It has to, you know, activate. I think it's deactivating. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm sticking, y'all. I'm sticking! She's sticking! <laughs> oh, what's happening? Oh no, you're right! No. It does deactivate. No. It was so pretty at first. All right, Jack, you tested out all the amazing, iconic slimes I just invented today. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is definitely the kinetic sand. Yes, okay. That's so fun. All right, Erin, it's your turn. Let's start with kinetic. I don't know, it kind of feels like skin. Like skin if you don't moisturize. It's not a pleasant texture. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, this is great. I love ah, it. Yeah, that's what's mm. up. This is interactive. Yeah. This is exciting. Perfect for your toddlers. It reminds me of swimming, and I hate swimming, so I'm gonna say I don't like that one. I thought you loved it. I thought I did too. That was a curveball. I think you're gonna like this one because you love makeup. I do love makeup. And um, I used 
a lot of makeup for this one. Okay. Where'd you get the makeup from? Um, I, it was on the shelf. It feels like a pretty much completely normal slime. It's not coming off of my hands. The color looks like a gazpacho, and I don't like gazpacho. That one's, that one's okay. I would consider that mid. Okay. But this one, this one's shiny. Yeah. It's like the inside of a geode. Yeah, that's wow. that's what I was going for. Yeah, you know? this is nice. I like this one. This is my favorite so far. Play-doh. Gosh. Doesn't play the smell make you like want to eat it? To, what? Were you one of those kids that ate Play-Doh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. This looks cool. Just by itself here, that's cool. It smells like childhood. I love that. This is really good. How did that happen so quickly? I did not know that was gonna happen. Is this part of it? Is it supposed to be like interactive? Like no, this? I totally like. It's kind of cool. That didn't happen to me. I don't know why that's happening to you. This honestly sucks and it makes me uncomfortable. Which one piqued your interest the most? Well, the only one I enjoyed was this one. So that I guess it would be that one. Cool, so the makeup slime. Yeah. But this side of makeup. This side, not that side. Guys, I'm really upset that the Orby slime didn't win. It was my favorite. I mean, come on. It's so cool. I would love to know which slime texture was your favorite. Also, leave a comment down below telling me what I should mix next into my slime. See y'all next week.